In this lesson, you'll learn how to read a manometer. Let's start off by talking about a barometer. The barometer was developed by Evangelista Torricelli in 1643. It measures atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure pushes down on the mercury in the basin, causing the column to rise. The height of the column is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure then is measured by measuring the height of the column, and therefore it's often given in millimeters mercury. Pressure can also be measured with a manometer, which is U-shaped and measures pressure differences. The liquid inside is usually mercury. When both sides are open to the air, the level of the liquid will be the same on both sides. When a gas of pressure P1 is connected to one side, pressure can be calculated by taking the difference in height between the two sides, H. Closed-end versus open-ended manometers. A closed-end manometer is not open to the air. To read a closed-end manometer, take the difference between the heights of the two columns of mercury. An open-end manometer, on the other hand, has one side open to atmospheric pressure. To read an open-end manometer, the difference in height of mercury between the two columns is due to the difference in pressure between the gas attached to the closed end and the air pressure. How to read a closed-end manometer. In a closed-end manometer, the mercury level was 690 millimeters higher on the closed end than on the gas side. What was the pressure of the gas in millimeters mercury? On the closed end, we just take the difference in height between the two sides, and that would be equal to 690 millimeters mercury. How to read an open-end manometer. If the column of mercury is higher in the open end, the higher on the end attached to the gas, that means the gas pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure. The pressure of the gas, then, is equal to the air pressure plus the height difference. If the column of mercury is lower in the open end connected to the gas, that means that the gas pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure, so the pressure of the gas is the air pressure minus the height difference. Let's look at a couple of sample problems. In an open end manometer, atmospheric pressure was 760 millimeters mercury, and the mercury level was 120 millimeters higher on the right side than the left. What was the gas pressure? And they tell us that atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeters mercury. Since the column of mercury is higher in the open end, that means that the gas pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure. So the pressure of the gas is equal to the air pressure plus the height difference. So it's equal to 760 millimeters mercury plus a height difference of 120 millimeters mercury. So the pressure of the gas is 880 millimeters mercury. Assuming that the valve is open, what pressure in millimeters mercury is the gas exerting? In this case, the column of mercury is lower in the open end. This tells us that the gas pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure. When the gas pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure, the pressure of the gas is equal to the air pressure minus the height difference. So the gas pressure is equal to 760 millimeters mercury minus 40 millimeters mercury, which is equal to 720 millimeters mercury. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry videos and practice problems, Help from our online chemistry community and the chemistry question of the day delivered to your inbox, sign up at chemin10.com. Membership is free and we'd love to have you. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin 10.